Yo, what's up guys? Oh, we already got an account. This was pretty freaking fast. Uh, the video was up for like three hours or so. And a whole bunch of people did tell me, it's like, yo, I got an account, got an account. Most of these accounts were like a bunch of days old or even like years old and that kind of stuff. But I wanted it as new as possible. And this account is two days old. I haven't fully checked yet what's been done for like how many scrolls, but there's a Lucifer on it. Also does have a FA and a Hwadam, which is kind of funny. But I think most stuff isn't really done on this one. Whoops, misclicking like a pro. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we can do. Let's see if there's actually more scrolls on this. I, I guess that's probably used all of these scrolls on this one already. Wait, it didn't even use all scrolls of this one yet. Neither for this one. Okay, this account is really insane. So... Yeah, we're going to be uh, using this account for the next month as a new series for just showcasing like how fast you can catch up if you happen to pull like one of the most crazy LD5s for a starter account. And we're just going to see how it goes from there. So this video is just going to be a little bit of showcasing. Wait, there's even more scrolls. Give me another LD5. This account is a blast. Is it? LD5, easy. Second one. Lucifer with... Nope with a windy but it's a something it is a something but yeah there's uh, this account is definitely going to be fun for the sake of uh, playing for quite a bunch of time and uh, we're just gonna see like how far we're gonna pull it um i would say that adding in a leo is probably the best thing you can do but there's also one thing that i do want to go for tesher however with this current event you can actually go for multiple units as well so with that or not necessarily multiple units but you can go for the thing where you first select one and then you select the other one later as well after you uh, change that so that is an option that i will go for and we shall see so first i will probably go for tashar get a bunch of runes and then towards the end i will switch the tashar towards a leo and then do some more pve or uh, some more PvP related stuff. Uh, we did also get a hacker here apparently, which is something I guess. But yeah, let's uh, get some good runes on this thing and uh, let's zoom through some dungeons. And in this video, I'll just be showcasing like a bunch of uh, just like the, the progression of the first stream, I guess. Okay, so for the choice, I'm first gonna pick a Tashar, and you do have a chance to switch it off later as well with the switching things. Which does mean that I can still get Leo if I happen to pull a Tesher myself. I will switch to Leo. I think I will switch to Leo either how. So Tesher's just going to be PvE early game. But late game, still one of the best. Arguably the best. But it's not as much of a must. Whereas a Leo with a Lucifer is a must. Otherwise, if you have a Lucifer but you have no Leo, then anything PvP related will be... Uh, disappointing so if this is allowed we're gonna change the name to this one i already like it yep so in case you want to add me it's a lucy bot 001 <laughs> oh man we have been doing about like two and a half hours on this account right now been working with the test shard definitely is working out pretty well this test is just melting everything we also do have evolution on this account already they do a bunch of more scrolls, didn't really get anything too much useful. Um, that's just, of course, that choice thingy. But yeah, we're already clearing things so fast. You get so many free stuff, it's just so easy to clear stuff. So I'm probably going to be doing just a few updates in this video and then just going to go from there. So scenario is all cleared already and then you're just going to go on like Summoner's Way. All of the kind of stuff you do in the early game, trying to get your two ways in early. So, two ways. I will be going for Crow first. Probably Naomi second. Not 100% sure if I go for Naomi, because Naomi in the end is it's decent-ish for TOA. Or decent-ish for R5. It's decent for Rift Raids. But it's not really a super must that much. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll see boy, if I actually go for that or not. We'll let you know later. But first of all, clearing more TOAs. Bella also might be an interesting one. Or Spectra. Spectra kind of depends if I need it for TOA or not. Okay, a little bit of an update. I've been farming quite a bunch. I think I've been like about like 7-8 hours playtime in right now. 
I've been doing these, or I started to do all of these things where you have to do all of the scenario dungeons. And with those scenario dungeons, you do actually get a whole bunch of those um, rewards. And the main thing is you just want to level as quickly as possible. Because when you hit level 30, you can get like a free Pheromals. When you uh, level more, use more energy, you get more of the other stuff that was previously in there already. So that definitely um, helps out quite a bunch to just level as much as possible. And to just keep doing stuff that's like semi-useful like this, for example, I can clear it pretty fast, so might as well do it now. I could have been focusing more already on farming uh, giants or getting towards giants to finish or to be able to kill it. But in the end, like if I kill it on the first day or on the second day, it doesn't really matter too much. You gotta do this kind of stuff anyway. So since I can't really clear dragon or giants or dragons yet, might as well just focus on getting all of the achievements in possible because this is clearing insanely fast. Like it's just the Teshar on runes that you get from one of those stages. Uh, it's this set, insanely good. It's just clearing everything. Um, for the units that I've been upping, I just got my Lauren. I've been just, yeah, just following the um, Summoner's Way. That's the main thing. And just trying to get all of the achievements in possible and then start focusing on your Giants team. I think my giant steam, um, I'm also not choosing the units that you can get for the fusion four star material yet, because you have a lot of options to get scrolls. And with those scrolls, you could maybe get those four star fusion material already. So I'm actually going to wait until I actually specifically need one of those units before choosing some of those units, just to make sure that I'm not getting duplicates later on from mystical scrolls. Uh, we will also be getting closer and closer to the point where I can do another 100 scrolls of the 10th anniversary because of the second event. We'll also do that on this video. And yeah, that's pretty much just an update for now. Okay, we got a bunch of scrolls, not too many. Actually, it takes a decent amount of time to get all of these scrolls in. So let's see if we can get anything funny. We're, we're aiming for a dupe Lucifer, just because it would be funny. Oh. Okay, I guess. It's not the worst for a TOA comp. I guess. Kind of long on cooldown on the skill 3, though. That's the only bad part about it. That's why Arika is a bit better. More cycling and stuff. Isn't I? Not 5. Well, let's see if we can pull something from uh, this one. Would be cool to pull a Shaman or something as well. Shaman on an early game account is actually really legit. So we're not asking for much, just a light birdie. Or no lighting at all. Oh, there we have lighting. LE5. <laughs> I saw it pretty early on, it was light though, but would have been funny if this thing was dark. Well, actually, not really, then it would be salty. <laughs> also light? No, it's water. Another light? Yep. Lots of lightnings at the end. Silver? Nope, the other one. Okay, just a few more. But yeah, we're working on uh, getting the cowgirls in right now. This team is uh, clearing it pretty fast, I guess. Ah, uh, one minute per. Not super fast. So we have this thing where we can get some runes, and I think early game it's pretty solid to buy fight runes, because in the end, fight runes you use for everything. You could go early saying like, oh, I want rage runes, because rage runes are pretty nice. But you need, it, it's a lot harder to complete a rage set with four runes than a fight set, so... Plus I can use this on Prilia, I can use this on Kona, I could even use this if it happened to get a good roll on... Um, the... Lucifer or the, well, pretty much anything. But in this case, pretty bad roll. Uh, lame. Okay, this one could be decent ish. Well, not really, it's just a crit rate. Okay, it's terrible as well. Very terrible. What the fuck are these runes, man? What the fuck is this shit? Okay, scammed by the event. Big time scammed. Okay, this one can't go wrong. No accuracy. Easy game. Goes double accuracy. Well, it's still usable, I guess. 
uh, it would have been better if it was something else. But yeah, I think fight runes early game is pretty useful to get in the first place. There's just so many good fight runes that you can use. So first few events, I would recommend to go on fight. And then once you have like a bunch of fight sets that are okay, just never look at fight again. That's kind of the way it is. So clearing 2 way 100 already. Well, not clearing it, working on it. So far, I've been pretty decent on progression. But I did make one mistake, though, or mistake, mistake. I expect to be level 30 faster, and then you have an event, and from that event you can choose to get a Varamos straight up. But uh, it actually takes quite a bit longer to level than I thought, so I could have gotten Varamos from just doing the old fusion event thing that you have. But I decided not to do that and wait for those until I see what I all pull of all of the units that I can pull. And then go from there. But yeah, in this case, or in this case, didn't choose to do that. So I have to wait a little bit longer for Faramos. I did notice Teshar is insanely strong for TOA. You do have to play some stages manual though, because at some point he starts, well, kind of uh, killing himself. Or he's just not that tanky as most other units are that could be doing something similar. But yeah, it's just, oh wait, I messed up with that one. I definitely did mess up that. But yeah, Tesh are very good uh, TOA unit, that's for sure. So absolutely a, a very nice recommended unit. Am I going to die over here? Look at that. Tesh are stunts, man. Wrong element, everything. It's just, wow, that's... Tesh is insane. Tesh is really, really insane. Once again, all stunts, man. I just need the cooldown on this thing. He is one skill cooldown away from having the uh, cooldown on the S3 uh, shortened, which is just uh, really nice. And we're going to pull Leo on this one. That's the, the important part about this thing. We're, we're going to get the scroll from this one, pull the Leo so don't, we don't have to reset the Teshar later on because we didn't pull a Leo. But also the damage on this thing is actually pretty insane, though. I should have maybe attacked Broken you, but yeah, it's fine. Oh wait, you do an insane amount of damage because you drain HP from the side things. That's true. Forget about those. It's actually true. That part is actually true. Because this skill will do... <laughs> wow, Lucifer against this thing is fucking busted. Because you drain like the HP from the side things and then you slap harder on the S1. That's pretty insane. Well, there we have our legendary scroll. Legendary scroll is going to be an easy Leo. Easiest Leo of my life. No spinning circle, still Leo. Mm, that's a very strange Leo. Very strange Leo. Oh, well. So just to look at the current progression that we have made, we made a whole bunch of six stars already. I'm kind of out of materials to make more six stars, so I have to search for a way to get more unknown scrolls. I think next thing I'll be working on is getting 2A on U and U. Uh, and then I kind of have my team ready the moment I get Veramos for Giants Abyss Heart. Because I think I will go for my these two, this one, this one, plus a Veramos. I think that will be my first team for Giants Abyss Heart. And we will see how that goes. First, Dragon's Abyss Heart team will probably be this, 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 plus a Veramos, and I think that will also totally work already. So, in this case, I didn't superly uh, or super hard rush for one specific team or one specific dungeon. I kind of did, like, multiple dungeons at the same time. And that's kind of my progression for now. So, also ending this video, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more content like this on this account, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, before we go, we actually do a few more of those kind of scrolls. Because we always want to do more scrolls. And I got the Leo over here, it's fine. Second Lucifer. It's gonna be another Lucifer. Would have been dope if it was actually the light one. That's very strong on early game account as well. Okay, give me a Shaman. Shaman is also very good early game account. Ah, that's an LD4. But a terrible LD4. I was thinking for a, a, just a split second it was going to be light. And I would have been salty as fuck if it was actually the light I4. I'm totally fine with this one on this account. Wait, another Hwadam? This is... What the fuck, man? I go from having zero Hwadams on my main to pulling three Hwadams in a month to pulling another Hwadam on this account that already has a Hwadam? 
How the hell do I have a dupe LD4 on this account already? Wait, how many LD4s are on this account? I literally have like three LD4s on this account, or light force on this account, and already have a dupe. <laughs> what the fuck is the point in that, man? How many darks? Three. How the hell do you get a dark or a light dupe if you literally have six units? <laughs> what the actual fuck, man? That's too random. It is too random. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab, which has the dungeon guide archive and the video guide archive, which contains all of the guides that you need. Hope to see you there.